Hey guys, it's Becca and welcome to this month's version of Project Eyeshadow, which is just kind of where I go through and remind myself and you guys of all the eyeshadows that are currently in projects. I have a couple going right now. I have pan those eyeshadows that I've been working on. I do an eyeshadow roulette and I also have a pan that palette that's going on that has eyeshadows in it. I just started the Fall For You collab that was created by Claire Elizabeth and I do have an eyeshadow palette in there that I want to get some usage on as well. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what eyeshadows I'll be working with. So first I'm going to go ahead and just show the palettes that are in the Pandos eyeshadows that I'm working on right now. I am just did my first update for that and I'm pretty excited about my progress. But right now what's in the project is I have the Morphe 35O Nature Glow palette and the shade that's in there is upgrade. It's kind of a satiny pink finish color. So the second shadow that I have is from the Iconic London palette, the Day to Slay. Very beautiful palette. I actually really like this and I'm really glad that it was brought into the project because I've never used it before this project and it is 24 karat gold, a very bright gold shade. The third that was just pulled in this time is the Violet Voss Pro holy grail hashtag whatever and the one that i have is a very kind of burgundy red shade and it is called on fleek and the fourth one is this little huda beauty and it is the second shade so it's the one that corresponds with this color and i'll show you swatches of all four of those now Second project that has a lot of eyeshadows in it is of course the eyeshadow roulette. With this one, instead of trying to hit pan on all the eyeshadows to roll them out, I pick four shadows from different palettes using a random number generator and I play with those for a month and I'm trying to combine them all in different ways just to see how the palettes play together and how the colors play together and then at the end of that round I roll all of them out and roll in four new shades. So let's just go ahead and see what palettes I have to play with this time is I have first the C color golden palette, which is a dupe of the Natasha Denona gold palette. I have the dark brown matte shade that is shade number nine. The second palette that I have, I'm super excited to have a chance to play with this one, is the Alter Ego Artemis palette. It's fairly new. And the shade that I am playing with is Thrill. It is, I guess you call C1. And it is kind of a brown with a greenish yellow undertone to it. The third palette I'm playing with here is the Storybook Cosmetics palette, Little Briar Rose Edition. This one has a lot of beautiful pink and blue shades, and the color that I am using is Spindle, and it's kind of a mauve nude pink. It's actually quite gorgeous, but it doesn't fit very well in with this color story of a bunch of greens and browns, but it's okay. I'm figuring out ways to play with it. The last one is my Profusion Emeralds palette. This one is super shiny with the packaging here. Let me just get the opened because you're going to see it anyway. This one here and the shade that I have is of course this gold color. I have a green palette pulled in and I get the shade that's not green. Let me just show ahead, go ahead and show you the swatches of those now. project that I'm working on that has eyeshadows and it is my round two of pan that palette and it is this little bitty here babes who brunch it came from the Ulta um, gift set babes who brunch I'm not going to show you the inside because I don't want any spoilers but this is what I'm working on there's six shades in here they are all very neutral um, very appropriate for everyday looks and I'll go ahead and show you the swatches of all of those Project that I'm working on right now that is involving any eyeshadows is the Fall For You collab created by Claire Elizabeth and I for the first time I'm participating this year so I'm pretty excited about that and I rolled in this one here the She Glam Desert palette this is a dupe of the Huda Beauty nude obsession in the shade light I'm not trying to hit pan on anything here I just want to use it 30 times I absolutely love this palette I'm gonna go ahead and show you a still of the swatches of this one as well 
I actually thought it was pretty funny that despite the very different types of palettes that I have in here, I have a lot of ones that are greens, I have some that are pinks and blues, that all the ones that were chosen for the project have a pretty cohesive color story. I swatched them all together onto my arm just so you could see there's a lot of browns, there's a lot of mauves, there's a lot of nudes, so it's really kind of nice to be able to use those all together and I thought it was kind of just interesting, so I'll show you the swatches of everything all together. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and doing a little bit of a swatch party with me. I hope you are staying well and safe and in good spirits. It would mean so, so much to me if you would consider subscribing if this is your first time in my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!